I'm back in a kayak. Today we're doing the Upper Klamath Canoe Trail and I brought my camera and I wanted to say I came in with no expectations but there's a reason I brought the long lens. So it's hard when you're thinking you have no expectations but yet you got to prepare for something. Uh, this is supposed to be a good like bird watching and stuff and the last time I was here I saw some big pelicans so let's see what we get today. The Upper Klamath Canoe Trail is located just south of Crater Lake and it is divided into four sections. Malone Springs, Crystal Creek, Wokus Cut, and Recreation Creek. In this video, we're going to put in at the Rocky Point Marina and head north. So there's a, a group of pelicans a little bit up here. So let me see if I can go around and try to get some good pictures. They're a little bit out of my reach right now, but maybe if I go around, I won't scare them. It's so cool. They're diving in and fishing or eating or whatever they do. Let's go see what else we find around here. That was cool. I don't know if you could see him, but they're over there. So we're almost at that Wokus cut. Maximum flight altitude reached. All right, so that was a little bit freaky there because uh, I think I'm going to have to recalibrate my drone sticks because it was drifting all over the place. And when you're above water, I don't like that. So with the drone, I saw what I believe to be Wokus Cut right up here uh, on the right. And that will take you out into the marshy area where there's supposed to be a lot of birds. So that could be interesting. I kept my telephoto on, but I don't want to be out here all day. So let's get going. Let's get some speed here. The wind's been blowing the wrong direction, which means it's going to really help me when I'm tired. Uh, let's see if we can get across and what kind of birds we find. Uh, like I said, no expectations, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to see birds. <laughs> it's impossible to go out and not have any expectation. You, want, you have ideas, you want to see certain things, you just come out and hope for the best. If you get it, great. If you don't, it was a great day anyway. Great workout. So this is part of Recreation Creek. And just up here a little ways, we'll find uh, Locust Cut. That'd be nesting, huh? The lower section of this trail seemed to be a very easy seven mile loop until it wasn't. Oh, it's shallow. Whoa, my paddle got stuck. Focus cut thing, not a great idea. Uh, it is so shallow and it's muddy that you can't get really good leverage. And look at that. The paddle is just nothing but mud. I feel like I'm dragging. Let's talk about a light workout this morning, but there are a lot of birds. There were some birds, but they were very shy. Someone should invent a, a wind power kayak or something like that.
So the woke is cut. Maybe two months ago when the water level was a little bit higher, uh, I could see that. Right now it's 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 a pain. <laughs> I'm finally now about halfway, and I still got about three and a half miles, maybe four miles to go. And uh, yeah, I haven't really seen any birds or anything else. still going. I feel like what I'm doing now is recording the last few moments of my life before I pass out from dehydration, and sun exposure, and whatever. I not gonna happen. Not today, because I got my hydration pack from Teton Sports. Thanks, Paul. I did the upper part of the trail last week. And now I came and did three sections, which is a very big loop. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this far, but it's still really beautiful. Different, you got Mount McLaughlin on one side, you got all these weeds and plants and stuff. And I haven't seen that many birds, but the view I've seen have been cool. So there's only two bathrooms. One of them is at the upper side, and then the other one at the Rocky Point Marina. Um, so if you do the whole loop, you're looking at 9 or 11 miles. <laughs> it's a long way without stopping anywhere. And there's really no place to stop. So pack a lunch, bring extra water, and be ready for a good workout. At the end of the day, going out with a camera doesn't guarantee that you're gonna get any amazing shots. The camera's an excuse to get out and to go out and to have amazing experiences. And in this case, I did end up with a couple of good pictures and also an upper body workout. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. By the way, here's some of those pictures I got today and last time.